Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Bronson Gannon. I'm here with Sound United. We are here at CES 2020. Uh, welcome to the Sound United booth. In this room, we have the brand new Definitive Technology Tower Speakers. We have the D17, which is the father of the two. Um, it features a BDSS mid-range driver. It also has our offset tweeter, along with two carbon woofer, carbon fiber woofers. We also have a 10 inch passive radiator to give you that really nice, tight and deep bass. We have the little brother to that one, which is called the D15. We timbre match these two lines. The biggest difference between the two of them is the sizing of the cones and also the passive radiator. So with the D17, it features a five and a quarter inch carbon fiber. And with the D15, you will actually get a four inch carbon fiber. The awesome thing about all this is we still have our patented technologies that we have been using over the past few years. Our offset tweeters make sure that you get the right sweet spot or the wide sweet spot when you listen to these bad boys. With the two carbon fiber woofers that we have in there, it gives you that nice bass without it being super heavy. Those cones are able to move extremely quick. And with that eight inch passive radiator, it definitely gets the bass really nice and tight. We're driving it today with our Denon series we have the PMA 1600, which is our $1,600 integrated amplifier. We also are running our DNP 800, which is our network player. And then we are showcasing our DRA 800H, which is our two channel stereo receiver. Hello, welcome. Uh, welcome to CES 2020. To start, um, I want to my name is Jake Mendel. I am the brand lead for Denon and Marantz over here with Sound United. Um, and I wanted to introduce our new Denon at Home line. This is um, a line of three different units, uh, the Denon Home 150, 250, and 350 that we are showcasing here. And this is currently the 250 that um, is being shown off right now. Uh, these are run through our Heos home um, multi-room, whole home multi-room audio uh, kind of experience app. So you can have one of these in your li living room, one of these in your kitchen, one of these in your bedroom, and play a different songs. It's the same song uh, you pick. The options are really endless. Um, so with that, they, this is currently running in stereo mode. They can be stereo paired if you want to. They are selling the 150, our smaller one, which is to my right, is selling at 249 with, uh, that's got a three quarter inch tweeter on the top and a two inch mid range driver. Also has capacitive haptics on top. Oh wow. So there's radio stations where they can preset on these. So say you wanna do uh, Elton John on Amazon HD, you would hit one. Or if you wanted to switch it up, you're feeling a little funky or a little bit gangster, you wanna do Eminem or something like that, <laughs> or Notorious, and you, want, you can put that one on too. Good so it's super <laughs> nice, it's super nice. Um, but with that, you can actually, so like I said before, you can put these in stereo pairing, so this can work as your left or your right, and then you can have another counterpart with that going off at the same time, so you have a left and right. Um, and since this is running through Heos, we're actually running this at 192.24. So we're able to hit that high res. So you can run Tidal, Amazon Music HD, the, the only two main streaming services that can hit that. Awesome. Um, but yeah, they run through this no problem, which is fantastic. Yeah, that sounds so great. So this is going for 249, um, and then our 250, uh, not for the pair. I'm sorry, our 250 uh, Denon Home 250 is going for 499. Okay. And then the big one up here is our Denon Home 350. This has a, l a larger driver away array. So there are two, I believe it's um, three quarter inch tweeters, two mid ranges, a uh, subwoofer in the front and a subwoofer in the back Nice. with six stations on top. Mm -hmm. um, play pause, obviously. All of these also do work with um, Amazon Alexa and Google. So awesome. if, you if you have a puck or the um, echo with the dot, they will work with that. You can say, hey, Alexa, play in the living room. Elton John again, and it'll just pop it up nice and easy. Wow, very nice. Yeah. Wow, I can't wait to give these a lesson. Yeah, these are, they're incredible. So yeah, we can demo it out on the pair and uh, let you enjoy. All right, awesome, thank you yep. so much. Thank you.
headphones and personal audio. Uh, one of my favorite products that's gonna be coming out very soon is going to be the C5 True Wireless Headphone. Initially, this will come in three colors, black, white, and red, but we will also be introducing two more colors, uh, excuse me, a peach and a green. All right. And we can show you this under the light so you can get a little bit better oh, awesome. image. Mm -hmm. Now, what's nice about these headphones, this is our first headphone, uh, True Wireless, uh, that was created after we got some feedback from a lot of our customers and our dealers. One of the things they wanted was a smaller carrying case. So this headphone has a very small carry case. Fits very easy in, the, in a pocket. And if you look on the back, you will notice that we have USB-C for charging. And there's four little dots there. Those four little dots are actually your battery indicator. They're not lit right now, but if I just take this, nice. give it a tap, oh. and it will give you your battery. Neat. <laughs> so inside, obviously, mm -hmm. is just the, the, the headphones, mm -hmm. and they're held in magnetically. Nice. Nice and small, lightweight, the other thing we did because people asked for it was a longer battery life. Okay. A couple years ago, the average was three, three hours of battery life for true wireless. Mm -hmm. These we've increased to five hours and the case gives you an extra two charges on top of that. Okay, very nice. While these are not a sport headphone, uh, they are IPX5 rated. So if you do run in them, um, you can sweat in them, you can get got in the rain, and they're gonna be just fine. So you don't have to worry about failure of a, of a headphone after a, a couple of uses. And uh, finally, I guess the price point, that's probably what you wanna know. <laughs> so these, uh, these are gonna be coming out at $89 retail. Oh, great, so under the $100 range. Yes. Wonderful, okay. Basically in the semi-wireless we've got the CX150, it's your basic Bluetooth headset. It's um, got your microphone for calls, it's got your volume up and down, that's it. It's really your, your bare bones but with good sound. Mm -hmm. this, the good model, so that's the good model, the better model is the CX350. Um, with that one we're adding in a voice assistant button, so you just, you've got your virtual assistant, Siri, Google, Alexa, whoever, right there. So, and with this one, you start to get access to our, the Sennheiser Smart Control app, where you can start to customize your audio. There's sometimes, there's in, in, depending on the product, there's different presets, like there's a podcast mode, mm -hmm. things like that. In our headband models, we've got our HD 350. Um, 
what's improved here over the previous generation, we've got better battery life, we're up at 30 hours now. So, and this one's got your voice assistant button as well, and it's got your access to the smart control app. One other thing we're doing here is we've actually removed the audio jack here. So now this is Bluetooth only. Uh, what we've seen, and th this really is driven by um, the true wireless market. Uh, with true wireless and with semi-wireless, um, there was no wired option. It was only um, wireless. And so we're starting to see people get more comfortable with that. So with this model, we're giving, giving that a try and seeing do people still want the wire on the headphone or not. A better model than our Bluetooth headband is the HD 450. So uh, what we're doing here is we're adding on active noise cancelling. No, it's still got all the other features, still got the voice assistant, still got the um, access to the Sennheiser Smart Control app, but then has active noise cancelling. And you are able to turn it on and off. So it can be just a passive Bluetooth headset or it can be Bluetooth with noise cancelling. Over here, we have our PXC 550 Mark II. So this is a premium travel headset. Uh, so I have the predecessor. So, and, and so yeah. the predecessor was the PXC 550. Yeah. Uh, so we still see some of the same features. We've still got the rotate the ear cup for the auto on off. We've still got the adaptive noise cancelling. So the difference here is the HD 450 that we just looked at, that's one noise cancelling mode and that's it. With the adaptive mode, it will change based on the environment. Mm -hmm. Another feature we offer in here is a transparent hearing mode. Yeah. What happens is you tap on the headphone and it will actually stop the audio that you're listening to. Mm -hmm. Turn on so microphone you so you can hear yeah, what's yeah. going on around you. With this model, it's an either or. You can either be having your transparent hearing and hearing what's going on around you, or you can be listening to music. You can't do both. Uh, with this, also, we've got the voice assistant button, um, Alexa certified. The other one is, and what you would have noticed in the previous model, you had the sound mode button, yeah, where you could yeah. cycle through the modes, the movie <coughs> mode or club mode, which were the predetermined modes that we'd set up to give you a better boost. We moved, we made that sound mode button, became a voice assistant button. We moved the modes to the smart control app. Uh -huh. So now you go into the smart control app, and not only can you select that movie mode, you can actually start to adjust that movie mode if you want to tweak it a little bit as well. So it's kind of fun. And then the flagship of our line is over here. Yeah. This is our Momentum Wireless. So, uh, we introduced it at EFA last year, so it's been on the market for about four months now. What's really nice about this, these are some really cool features. Oh, it's auto on off fire folding. So you, yeah. you unfold it, power's on. What's all re also really nice is there's smart sensors in the hinges. When you put the headset on, it automatically turns on and pl starts playing your music. When you take it off, it automatically pauses your music. So uh, that's, as, that's a smart pause feature. So let me ask you this. So one of the uses I have for the headphones is when I'm doing um, movie, movie stuff, okay, when I do movies. So one of the things that I didn't like about the other one was that I could never do like this, where I can, oh, this works, okay. So you answered your Okay, question. I like that, yeah, I answered my own question. Okay, so <laughs> see, like if I'm talking to the editor, but then I wanna hear what I'm telling him what to do, mm -hmm. Oh, I like that, yep. okay. okay. So, so in, in that application, I like what, that. I, what I would recommend is you happen to get it enough so that the tension didn't change. Uh, oh, but if we you thought I had if, it on. If your tension changed too much, it would actually smart pause. Uh, okay. So what I would recommend in your application is actually, again, use the Sennheiser Smart Control app, go in and turn oh, the smart oh, pause function off. off. Oh. Uh, this, one, this model also features transparent hearing. Uh, yeah. So basically you, you flip it on, it turns on, it activates microphones to let in sound from outside. Mm -hmm. With the PXC 550 that we just looked at, it was an either or proposition. You yeah. either got to have yeah, your transparent right. hearing or you got music. With this model, so. you get to customize. So. Other one is we have active noise cancelling. Mm -hmm. So with the models, a good model, or a better model, sorry, the HD 450 has the one active noise cancelling mode. Mm -hmm. The PXC 550 Mark II, which is our, in our best category, it has the adaptive. It's changing as, you, mm -hmm. as your environment changes. With the Momentum Wireless, it's sort of a blend of the two. It's, uh, it's got three different modes. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't change automatically. What you do is you use the app to pick a mode. Mm -hmm. So, But you've basically got a full-on noise cancelling mode like you'd use on a plane. Mm -hmm. You've got an indoor mode, which is a low intensity mode. So when you're in a quiet environment it's like this, it's not cancelling quite as much. Uh, that helps with ear fatigue. Uh, if you wear yeah, noise cancelling right. headphones that yeah. are um, and noise cancelling the whole time you can get fatigued, that helps with that. Mm -hmm. There's also an outdoor mode which helps with the wind noise. Mm. Oh, Be because 
noise cancelling works best with low repetitive yeah. frequencies. Yeah. Uh, when you're outside in the wind, that's not re like constantly repetitive, so it struggles. So there's a little bit of engineering to help compensate for that. Mm -hmm. oh. wow.